Yeah, hi, this is Al Ken, and welcome to my live. Well, um, since last year, we're experiencing a situation in Puerto Rico. Apparently, um, what started out as minor tremors is now alarming increasing in size from southern Puerto Rico and radiating throughout the, the territory. Uh, thing is, we don't know what's going on. The 5.8 was a uh, complete shocker. Wasn't expecting that one. But apparently the quakes are going up in size. From the threes and the fours, now this is a 5.8. They rocked Puerto Rico um, almost 24 hours ago. And unfortunately, the uh, buildings are uh, cannot withstand a, a 5.8 that we just seen. Uh, it's similar to the what happened in uh, Northridge when the uh, building complex with the soft uh, floors collapsed, um, killing a lot, a lot of people in that complex. Luckily, there was no deaths. But there's a lot of damage. And I'm not sure how the government of Puerto Rico had prepared themselves for this event, but they knew earthquakes were coming. So I don't know how the population was prepared for this. And apparently they looked like they were got caught off guard. I mean, it's not a new thing that we having earthquakes there. I mean, I mean, the largest earthquake that ever struck Puerto Rico happened more than a hundred years ago. It was a seven point three uh, northwest, no northeast part of Puerto Rico. There was a tsunami, and one hundred sixteen people died. Now, I'm not suggesting that. Uh, a big quake of that type is coming to Puerto Rico because we don't know what's going on underneath the ground. Um, well, the only thing we can be certain is the North American plate and the Caribbean plate right now are banging up against each other and Puerto Rico is stuck in the middle. And it's just like what happened with Haiti. It's capital. And what happened in Montserrat, when the earth and the, and the Caribbean don't agree with one another, somebody ends up losing. And unfortunately, it's always the people in these earthquake-prone areas. I know Montserrat wasn't destroyed by an earthquake, but Volcano is, is also a, a product of either the earthquake or the earthquake causes a volcano to erupt. Because the magnum underneath is what's causing all this instability. And what's happening also in Puerto Rico is um, it's the, because the way the rock formation is, is well, even though you had a quake that was on the southern and in Puerto Rico, it, it will be felt all the way to the north. Because it's not like the San Andreas Fault in California, where you might feel it in San Francisco, but you won't feel it barely in L.A. It's just like in the northeast, you have an earthquake down in Virginia. It's felt all the way up to the northeast to Canada, and vice versa if it was from Canada all the way down south. So, this is a very bad situation, and I understand that one of our famous landmarks got destroyed in a quake. Um, luckily, nobody was on it when it happened because they'd been dead. They would have been casualties. So, the th best thing that Puerto Rico could do right now is. Be, always be prepared in case these things continue to happen. Always have a, an earthquake kit. 
So if you know if you had to break something to get out of there, or wrap somebody who's injured, you have it. You can always check on Google for these R three kits, what you're supposed to put in, and so on. Always have the batteries fresh for the radio and water and other supplies in areas that will not be affected in the building or the collapse. So. I feel bad for you guys over there. Well, I wish I could give you something better to say, but I don't want to be giving you false hope and saying, oh, the, the worst is over. We don't know. Because I thought that's, that's what hap was happening in LA, LA, LA last year. And sure enough, we had a big one. Not the actual big one, but bigger than the actual quake that struck. During the summer, that sucker was from all the way to Las Vegas and all the way south to, uh, I think, Phoenix. <laughs> so, this is how I can say so long for now. And, um, Puerto Rico, be safe, be strong. We'll, we'll do the best we can to help you. And, uh, good night.